I'm Sally Cohn with the Women's Media Center. I'm here with Elon James White, funny man, political commentator extraordinaire. Hi. Greetings. Uh, Elon, um, we're going to talk about women's stuff, okay? Oh, women, really? Really? Because I'm not really sure how much I'm for your rights and everything. Is that where I'm at? I, that's not, I didn't mean to do this. It's awkward. Yeah, a little bit. Totally awkward. Okay, well, let's just go with it. Okay, let's try. All right, here we go. We're going to roll. All right, so, uh, Elon, uh, when was the first time you realized you were a woman? Uh, it was a summer day in 1984. I, uh, I saw this young man who walked past my house, and I was like, wow, he makes me feel like a lady. And then, voila, I've been a woman ever since. All right, no, in all seriousness, it's not going to be serious after this. Uh, <laughs> in all seriousness, though, what in your life today tells you that there is a vibrant feminist movement in this country? Uh, the fact that I, I have learned so much of what I should and should not say uh, in general, just because people will roll up on me, I'm like, guess what? You can't say that, and I'm like, valid. You win. Um, no, in all honesty, like I feel like uh, much like how I do with uh, stuff about race, and, and I roll up and people like that's not the appropriate thing. That there's better ways of doing that. Uh, that has uh, that has happened a lot with uh, with uh, various feminists coming to me, and they'll pull me to the side. Like I under, be like we look at you as an ally, but we want you to know that that might be a problematic. And I'm like, thank you because I understand. Just like I would, I, I don't think when uh, someone uh, every white person said something racially insensitive, they were trying to be racially insensitive. They just didn't know. I believe that sometimes on, on well, some I, sometimes some of us. So, I mean some. Of, I mean yeah, some people are assholes. I mean ooh, didn't that's I met. Bad I think people. this is just online. I think okay. you can say that. Yeah. Assholes. Some people are assholes, and they are saying things. But other people, I feel, are just genuinely ignorant. And I don't always look at ignorant as the worst thing in the world. It means you don't know. And once you're told, then yay. But and if you do it, now you're, you're an asshole. asshole. Now you're an asshole. We figured this out. Yes. The world according to Elon James White. Now, uh, Elon, why? You're a comedian, professional comedian. Why aren't there more uh, well-known women comedians, and particularly uh, women of color comics? Uh, because people are assholes. Like that's like the the the, uh, the explanation. The fact is that like I've always I've heard the, the argument. They're like, oh, women aren't funny, and, and which was always weird to me because when I came up at stand up, I was surrounded by women. Like I only knew women. Like the people like even here, like oh, who I'm working with, Liz Winstead. And so I'm like, I only know funny women, so I don't understand your rule. But it's the it's the same rule. There's not that many uh, Negroes in all honesty. Uh, in it, they, 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 they allow the Negro of the moment, just like, like they allow the woman of the moment to come through. They get to be all womany and Negro, and then they're like, all right, and that's enough. We don't need five or ten of you here. That's way too many women and Negroes at one time. Uh, and so that's that's my explanation. So it's just it's just a quota system. We're bumping up. And, and also, like, I mean, really, what are white dudes going to do? They don't understand you. You have woman parts. How are they going to understand stuff you talk about? Like, it, come on, you're going to start rubbing your vagina on the microphone. And that's not very interesting to white males who don't know about that. Just like when I, I eat fried chicken on the microphone. I do. I eat fried chicken and just rub watermelons when I talk about stuff. And that is uncomfortable for white males. So that happens. Alrighty then. But I'm not uncomfortable. Uh, Elon... Awkward segue, awkward segue. Uh, it's time for your grab bag question. Go ahead, pick one out, read it to folks, and uh, answer it. What will happen first, female president or Martian president? It depends on if the Martians have a very strong uh, candidate. Uh, actually, Perry seems to be getting a lot of votes, so I believe they're on their way at this point now. But wait a minute, but Bachman, but I'm not sure she's a woman or a Martian. Like, I'm on the edge of my ruling on her. Not because I don't like her as a woman. I think she might just not be from here. So So maybe it's a bi candidate, a Martian woman. Half Martian, half woman, and then everyone wins. Awesome. So uh, peace, world, peace, and solutions here from Elon James White. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you very much.